Hamilton County authorities have identified the body found in a creek several weeks ago as that of a woman who has been missing for months. News Channel 9's Drew Balea joins us now with more. Good evening, Drew. Good evening, Kim. Calvin, this is a major development in a missing person case that's been ongoing since early November. The Hamilton County Medical Examiner's Office did officially confirm for the first time that they've recovered the body of Dana Wilkes. On November 9th, Dana Wilkes went missing. Her son found her car near Wilcox Tunnel with the door open, her insulin inside, and blood splatter on the interior. Since then, friends and family had been pleading to find the 48-year-old woman. A very sweet, caring, loving person, just a joy to be around, funny. Today, we confirmed a new piece of information with the Hamilton County Medical Examiner that the body found near the Chickamauga Creek is that of Dana Wilkes. Wilkes' body was recovered near the South Chickamauga Creek off of Youngstown Road. The autopsy report was not released, and the medical examiner's office is still trying to determine a cause of death. We came to this neighborhood near Missionary Ridge to speak with the neighbors of Miss Wilkes. A lot of them reluctant to go on camera, some of them even reluctant to speak with us at all. And that's because they're scared. They're living in fear because this positive identification, they say, affirms who they believe was the murderer. Wilkes' incarcerated husband also believes he already knows who the killer is. He made the last phone call to a phone, and I think that he probably tricked her or some kind of way got her to come out because he trusted him. We reached out to the Chattanooga Police Department. Public Information Officer Nathan Hartwig responded via text message saying they would not be commenting on the case at this time. Without an official word on the suspects in Wilkes' murder, there are still more questions than answers. But one thing is clear. A horrible death that she died. She didn't deserve all that. And I don't deserve the fact that I can't go out there and bury her properly. Now, Wilkes does have other family members outside of Chattanooga, and we reached out to them but received no response. We'll be sure to keep you updated on this case as more information becomes available. Kim, back to you. True, thank you very much.